All right, welcome back. Um, quick video. I want to show you guys how I'm doing my canopy. Uh, I got the linear actuator installed for the up and down, and then there's another uh, one of those essentially under here. And you can kind of see it here. That's locked. Obviously unlocked. So let me unplug this one because I don't. I'm just running them off of a servo driver. I don't have my receivers hooked up yet, so. So, here we go. Canopy closing. Oop. There you go. And this thing really does not fit very well. Um, like I said, this side over here is perfect. This side has a gap, so you gotta have to work with that a little bit. I think I'm gonna See if I can lower this side just a hair, but so that's closed, and then of course we plug the lock back in here, and there it goes. Oops, locked. When it's locked, it pulls it down. You know, everything kind of lines up, but. You can kind of see when it kind of unlocks, it kind of pops up a little bit. So, I got to work on it just a hair, but the way I did the, the kind of the insert, it kind of guides it in. So, there you go, nice and locked. Unlock. All right, let me plug this other one. Let me set the camera down for a second. And then... Open. There you go. So that's how it's, how it's done. So, I got a brass guide, oop, brass tube guide here and a brass tube uh, up here that I had to glue in so this area is very hollow I started drilling it and it just all kind of came apart so you really do if you're gonna do something like I'm doing you, you need to reinforce it I've got a wood block uh, under here kind of over with a channel cut in it kind of laid over glued over the support in the, the brass tube and then everything's glued to this ply tray that's in here so but that's it so you guys take it easy. I'm gonna get back to building. Oh, well, while I'm here, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Let me unplug this. Uh, I turn this down. Tanks are done. I patched that hole. Drilled two more. Now I've got, this is gonna be the, kind of the feed, main tank for each engine and then this will fill into this so this will go dry first and then these will empty so I got two vents and it's kinda that's another thing I did um, it's kinda hard to see but I got one vent here one on the other side and you just reach under here the wing is very narrow back to that point so oops sorry it's real easy to get to um, and plug in the taxi tank. So there's one on each side. There's actually a, a piece of carbon laid up in the skin here, so it's kind of a perfect spot. It's right behind this this bracket that you you, you tighten down to help hold the wing on. So you got to watch out for that. But you have to do this. If you put them here. You have to do it first because the the uh, tanks go in here and it'll it'll cover them up. So I installed the vent line so that's ready to go when I put the tanks in so but that's it for now you guys take it easy